So Apple Music launched Lossless and high res Lossless now in June. If you're using headphones, one of the questions is, um, if you have an Apple device, how can you actually listen to it? Um, modern headphones are often based on wireless technology and Bluetooth, and Bluetooth doesn't support Lossless. And it has nothing to do with Apple or the iPhone or the iPad. It's simply that Bluetooth um, cannot transfer these data volumes that you need for for lossless or high-res lossless. What I'm going to show in this short video is um, a home solution that I created for myself. Um, it is in theory mobile, but for me it's intended just to be at home. Um, and what I'm using here is an old iPhone that I haven't been using for years. It's an old iPhone 6S that doesn't have a SIM card and is not used for anything, but which I simply haven't sold. Of course, you could do it also with your own up-to-date modern iPhone. But um, again, for me, that's a backup solution for home, like a small home hi-fi stereo. The advantage of the old iPhones is that you could directly plug in cabled headphones. So they would then support lossless. Um, the old iPhones, uh, as you see here on the right, still have a headphone jack, 3.5 millimeters. You could just use that. If you really want to draw the benefits from lossless and high rest lossless. Of course, you would also need a decent headphone. So even if you got a cabled headphone, but if it's like a 10 euro headphone, um, pretty sure you wouldn't hear any difference whatsoever. In order to drive a decent headphone, um, you can use your iPhone, but of course it has its limitations in terms of power um, and also the quality of the digital to editor converter, the deck. So what I've done here, I first added that USB adapter. It's the Apple camera to USB so that I can power my iPhone all the time and at the same time connect my iPhone through that black cable to the uh, Fio Q3. And that's a combined headphone amplifier and a deck, digital to, to analog converter, which I then plug into my headphone, which you see on the left hand side which is a biodynamic DT880. It's only a 35 ohm version, meaning it has a very low impedance. So the iPhone itself can actually drive these headphones, even though they're quite large. But if you really want to enjoy the music, um, some kind of amplifier and deck is highly recommended. So I'm using the Q3. Um, for the 6S, you need, and of course all more modern iPhones, First thing you need to do, you need to install the latest um, version of uh, iOS, which is 14.6. I was pleasantly surprised that it's still supported on my old uh, 6S. So you see it here after the update. Without the update, you cannot run um, the modern Apple Music and the um, Dolby Atmos, which is another new feature. Once you've done that, you can now in settings under music, um, choose lossless and high res lossless. You see that it um, takes quite a lot of data, which isn't really an issue since I'm only using it at home on my Wi-Fi anyway. Once you've done that, you now see in Apple Music um, the titles that are supported. And there are many, many, so way more are supported in Lossless and those that, that aren't. If you want to see what it actually is, just click on that Lossless and it gives you the audio quality. The audit quality. Uh, here you see 16 bits, 44.1 kilohertz ALEC format. It goes even up to high res uh, lossless, which was the highest one of these settings. Um, that's only available for a, a limited number of tracks. Um, and there you see the bitrate and the kilohertz. If you actually hear a difference or not, that's a different story. But I imagine for myself that I, uh, I hear a difference. So I'm just telling myself there is a difference and then you're enjoying it. So what do you need to uh, have for that setup? The first one is, um, is a deck and amplifier for your headphones. Um, these are Norwegian kroner, so that's not euros or dollars. It's not that expensive, but it is an investment. Um, there are different brands out there. There are way better videos on YouTube than this one here that explain how these work. Again, they are intended for mobile use. This one has a battery, but since I've plugged it into my USB dongle, um, it's not charged all the time anyway. So that's the Apple camera USB adapter, which you plug in the USB uh, cable to be connected to the Q3 deck amplifier. And in addition, it has a power input, a lightning input, so that you can power your iPhone while you're listening to music. 
You don't necessarily need it. You can, of course, run your iPhone from your battery. But uh, again, since it's a solution for my home, um, I don't need to charge it and switch cables. I just leave it switched like that all the time. Yeah, you saw me also um, putting some sticky tape on it. So I just put these two pieces together um, that it's like one thick iPhone. And that's it's not the cheapest solution since the amplifier deck, of course, costs some money and also that deck. But I think it's for what you get for um, high res audio together with a decent headphone uh, that actually gets the power it needs. Um, I think it's a decent package for a reasonable price and very easy to install. I hope you enjoyed it.